Drivers on the 417 caught a glimpse of a shocking crash this morning. A dump truck struck an overpass on the highway, leaving the box wedged between the bridge and the roadway. It happened on the 417 westbound at the Vanier Parkway overpass around 830 this morning. Traffic was down to two lanes for several hours. I want to take a live look now at that area tonight. As you can see, traffic is moving well. This is the Ministry of Transportation camera at Riverside that we're looking at. Quite a sight this morning, though. CTV's Jeremy Sharon joins us now with the latest on this. Jeremy. Patricia, thankfully no one was injured in this crash, but it was certainly a shocking experience for the driver and those who witnessed it. Crews spent hours today cleaning up and working to remove the box of the truck. There are significant delays, or there were significant delays on the highway throughout the morning. It was a shocking scene on the 417. An early morning crash left this dump truck box stuck upright on the highway. The bed of the truck detached after it collided with the overpass. I was just looking at it thinking, is that box going to get it underneath the bridge? But then as soon as that thought went through my head, just boom, uh, you heard it hit the thing. It was a super loud uh, bang that it made. And then the truck kept going and the bin just stopped uh, diagonally up against the side of the bridge. Brody Hobson was driving a few cars behind the truck when it happened and says traffic slowed right down before the collision. When I, I was in my car, probably a good 200 meters back from it when it happened and you could still feel it sort of rumble everything as it as it crashed into the into the bridge. The crash happened around 8.30 Wednesday morning. Ontario Provincial Police say no one was injured. That's That's all I care. I don't care about the truck. I don't care about the cost. I'm just happy no one was hurt. The owner of the company says the truck was an older model, and while the cause of the crash is under investigation, he says a gearing system for the lift could have been accidentally engaged. Possibly driving down the road hit the lever or left it in up. I have two new trucks. They won't rev over 1,000 RPM if the PTO is engaged. Crews spent hours working to remove the bed of the truck. Shortly after noon, the box was dislodged from under the bridge. <laughs> amazed at what I saw and it's interesting to watch traffic mayhem. Traffic on the 417 westbound was down to two lanes for several hours following the crash causing major backups. The highway reopened just after 2 p.m. Now late this afternoon the Ministry of Transportation confirmed there was no structural damage to the overpass. This isn't the first time we've seen an incident like this in August of 2020. The exact same thing happened on the 417 eastbound at Huntmar in the West End. The driver in that incident was charged afterward. Police have not said what caused this crash or whether the driver will be charged. Graham. All right, CTV's Jeremy Sherrill, live for us tonight. Thanks.